young people will be killed mercilessly and their bodies thrown and strewn in the streets. So I delivered this word in the meeting that day. And subsequently, in many meetings, I've delivered this word. But over the years, I've seen many visions. One particular vision I saw in the late 90s was missiles been falling all over the U.S. In this particular vision, I saw myself running here and there in the North American continent, particularly the U.S., and missiles were dropping everywhere, you know. So I looked up and I cried out, who dares to throw these missiles at the U.S.? And I found myself saying these words, except the Lord God, who else will dare to permit this to happen? So I was very surprised when I saw that. And very recently, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Russia will attack the U.S., and the nation will be divided into two when she will divide Jerusalem into two. This word of the Lord came unto me when I was fasting and praying on Mount Sinai, on the top of Mount Sinai, in the last week of December, uh, November in 2011. You know, we do an annual conference in Israel called the Open Heavens Prophetic Conference. And on that particular year, before the conference began, I was fasting and praying on Mount Sinai. One early morning, as I was drinking my cup of tea, and I was just meditating on the scriptures, when suddenly I saw an eight-foot angel stand before me with a drawn sword. And then he said, this is what will happen to the nation that will divide Jerusalem into two. When he spoke that, I saw the map of the United States appear in a three-dimensional form before the angel. And he, he just thrust his sword into the very heart of the U.S., like in the center, you know, and a line just split it in the middle and said, so will the nation be divided as Jerusalem will be divided by this nation. So these are the things that I've heard from the Lord about the U.S. That dream could be interpreted different ways. There could be a a physical division, such as a, a massive earthquake mm-hmm. that splits the nation in half, but also it could be a civil war mm-hmm. where the country is divided, and it could also be a foreign occupation. Yes. But the Lord didn't tell you how it was going to be divided. He just said this is the nation will be divided if, and that's the key line, if it divides Jerusalem. You know, last night we were having a, a dinner with another prophet of God from Australia called Neville Johnson. Have you heard of him? No. I'm sure many of your listeners who know me may have also heard of him. He's another wonderful man of God you should interview on your radio program. And what's his first name? Neville Johnson. Oh, Neville, okay. Yes, Neville Johnson. Now, when we were having a, this, talking about these issues over dinner last night, he mentioned that he had heard from the Lord about a foreign occupation, particularly by Russia, that will invade and be positioned or stationed in the U.S. and then take over the U.S., Neville Johnson is a prophet from Australia, heard That's from the right. Lord. He heard from the Lord that there would be a foreign occupation mm-hmm. of this country. Yes. And it would be by Russia? Yes, yes. You know, just a few minutes ago, uh, as you were talking, I saw an angel come and stand before me, and he handed out a note. And in the note, I saw it written, Russia will invade the U.S., You saw that just before this interview? That's right. While you were giving the introduction, you know, I was quietly praying and asking the Lord, Lord, what should I tell these people? I do not know what they are going to ask me and what should I tell them? That was when I saw this angel. He come and he handed me a note saying, Russia will invade the U.S. 
Sundar, you don't know me. This is the first time you and I have talked, but I've been uh-huh. on I've been on the radio over fifteen years. This has been my message for fifteen years. Really? Yes. Oh. That if Mr. Ameri- let me tell you, you know, from the moment you called me or your associate as he was just talking with me for a few minutes before he passed the phone to you, I saw an angel come and stand before me with a drawn sword. And he said, I will give you words to speak when you are being interviewed. So I was very sensitive to that, what he was going to tell me. But as soon as you started and you were introducing me, that was when the angel came and handed me the note. He said, tell them this. I, I, in the name of Jesus, I release you to, to prophesy mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. on live radio. Speak the yes. word of the Lord. You you have the microphone to speak mm-hmm. freely. You know, it is the will of the Lord that this nation serve the living God, but not Memon. Unfortunately, many, many Americans, minus the sincere godly Americans, they are after Memon. And as a result, God has permitted a spirit of lies to come upon these many preachers, even prophets, who are preaching falsehood themselves. So this will make the way for the great apostasy to fall away. But at the same time, God has sent his angels in white, even many saints in glory in white, walking all over the U.S. right now, calling forth a people to come out of Babylon. That is the message that is going out these days, to come out of Babylon and be separate. The Americans Mm -hmm. must not choose to walk in sin or to have any part in sin, but to keep their hands and their hearts clean so that they will be counted worthy to stand with the Lord. The American people are not going to repent. They are going to suffer this tragedy. Mm-hmm. And now I see I see the signs of war. Yes. Uh, I mean, th- this very day, the headlines in Europe are talking of NATO warning of war with Russia. That's right. And so I think we are dangerously close to these prophecies being fulfilled. And I, and I, I dread to tell people... What I, what I saw, because, Sondra, what I saw was after the war, mm-hmm. the American people were slaves. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think the aftermath was even worse than what I saw in the war. It was the My slavery. Brother, you will be very amazed to hear that whatever you are saying to me right now were the very things that we were discussing last night. What God has shown to Neville and me... And we were just talking about the exact same things that you are repeating right now. What did you talk about? About uh, America being attacked and uh, the Russian army being stationed in the U.S. And then the people, the Americans becoming slaves. Everything. You must get never to be interviewed on your station, you know? Yes. I, 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 I want our audience, particularly here in the U.S.A., Yes. To comprehend what Russian bombers penetrated U.S. airspace at least 16 times in past 10 days. Russian strategic nuclear bombers conducted at least 16 incursions into northwestern U.S. air defense identification zones over the past 10 days, an unusually sharp increase in aerial penetrations. What's happening here? We, we have a brother from, from India mm-hmm. meeting last night with a a brother from Australia, and they're discussing a Russian attack on the United States and the American people becoming slaves. I, I my heart, I, I want to cry on the air. I, I, I don't know how to, to, to wake up the American people that God has been crying out to this nation for decades. Yes. Repent. You took the wrong road. You were deceived. You were misled. But you can turn around. You can go back to the place you you took the wrong road, and you can get back onto the 
path of righteousness. May I say something? Yes, sir. In uh, to give a, a leaf of hope. Yes. I was preaching once a few years ago in Michigan, and as I was preaching, I saw in an open vision about an an American patriarch kneeling down with his right foot was kneeling down, bent down on the ground, and his left leg was tilted up, his bowed in head, and his, his tears were all dropping on the ground. And the Lord told me, this is George Washington. Listen to what he's praying. And this was a scene in heaven. And I heard George Washington pray, Lord, save my nation. Save my nation. Save my nation. And the tears rolled down his eyes and fell on the ground. And the Lord Jesus told me, I will surely answer the prayers of this saint. So, last night, as we were discussing, Brother Neville did mention that, you know, this mythical bird called the phoenix that will rise up from the fire and ashes. Yes. The nation will certainly be judged. She will certainly be whipped by the Lord. She will certainly go through all this, but it is for redemption. It will turn the nation around and she will once again rise up from the ashes like the phoenix bird and will seek out God and fulfill her rightful destiny. Do you know about George Washington's vision? No. I, I, ex, except for the name of George Washington, I know nothing about him. George Washington had a vision. Mm-hmm. And this is recorded in the Library of Congress. Mm-hmm. Now, there's no record of George Washington himself telling the vision, but the story is mm-hmm. that, uh, I want to say, um, this was uh, in, in the 1800s, a, a, an elderly man approached the editor of a uh, patriotic magazine, which is now the Stars and Stripes magazine. Mm-hmm. All of our veterans know that magazine. I forget the, the original name of the magazine. Mm-hmm. And this elderly man told the editor he had a story to tell. Mm-hmm. And he told the editor that he served with George Washington at Valley Forge. Mm-hmm. And that he personally heard George Washington tell of a strange experience that Washington was in his tent praying Mm -hmm. and a vision unfolded. A heavenly being appeared in the tent Mm. and said, I will show you three wars that your nation will fight. And the first war was the, the revolutionary war that they were in at the time. The second war was brother against brother, which was the mm-hmm. Civil War. And then the, the angel said, and the third war will be in the distant future. Mm. And Washington saw a a dark, ominous cloud rise up from, from Europe, and another cloud rise up from Asia, and another cloud rise up from North Africa. And the three dark clouds merged together and came across the Atlantic and hovered over America. And fire and lightning came out of the cloud. Mm-hmm. And it was basically raining fire on on America. I see. But the people cried out to God. Mm. And God saved them. Amen. Now, that's a true story that this Amen. man swore Uh he heard George Washington relay the story himself. So again, there's a historical record that this man told the story. There's no, there's no historical proof that George Washington himself ever spoke of this vision, Mm -hmm. but it's interesting that you had, you had a vision of George Washington weeping and crying saying, save my nation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.